the bell has rung. That means everybody, please return to your seats. All right. Uh, th oh, thank you for sitting down. All right. Today uh, we have Teacher Hannes, and he is going to show us what he does at Chungong Elementary School. All right, let's start first off, okay. I'm teaching at Tilgo Gosha. Okay, I come from a, I feel like I won 14 years, that's long. Some people say too long. Um, so I come from the Bushiban background, the private school background. And uh, the kids that go to Bushiban, some are very fortunate, well off. And uh, you know, they go to class sometimes three, three hours a week. They have the one and a half hour classes, two classes a week. So a lot of exposure, okay. At Tengong Gosha, we're about 850 kids, so it's a big school, uh, 56 teachers, and that's a lot. So um, they've got a system that they've got in place where they break a class up in four groups, All right. and I see a class once a week, but we are small groups, seven is the max. Okay. So basically the kids have one-to-one -one exposure which is really, really great. Okay, that, that really builds confidence. But some of the kids come from poorer backgrounds. We've got Hakka kids there. We've got actually Aboriginal kids that come from other areas to come to our school because, you know, they feel, their parents feel it's better to come to a school and the schools in their area is not very good. Okay, so I was actually very pleased because I'm gonna be, okay, everyone's gonna be envious now. I've got an air conditioner in my class. So that's one, actually, actually, I, I just want to put the cherry on top. Two air conditioners. Oh. One, <laughs> one in the storeroom at the back. I can't believe this. So the kids are like, teacher, teacher, can we come and clean your class? Come, yes, yes, please. Come, 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 come. <laughs> teacher, what are you looking at? I'm watching some YouTube videos. Do you want to see it? So yeah, I've got, I've got visitors every afternoon. Okay, so I really, I have to say, guys, I want to lock the door now. I'm going to take a rest. So I think, please. Um, okay, so first things first. When I got to the school, we, we had meetings, you know, to establish exactly what your role is in the school, which is very important, okay? Because <laughs> from a Bushiban background, they sometimes just say, um, okay, teach what you want, you know, make up a lesson, make up a lesson. Because it's just face time with a foreigner, and people think, okay, if there's a foreigner standing in front, you're going to see magic happen, magically, yes. <laughs> no, that's because the parents are not educated. And um, so we had to establish what I was going to do, and, they said to me, okay, here are the textbooks. I also do grade three to six. Um, we wanted to do a reading class. And I said, okay, reading class, is great. What should I do? Uh, do you have any materials? They said, yes, we've got material, but we want you to use the uh, textbooks as a reference. So, okay, great, textbook as a reference. So I started with the old Bushiman thing, sentence patterns, games, board games, that works. But for reading, uh, I needed a different approach. So material, material, getting the right material was my thing. The right material. That, you know, when you show the kids something to read, that they don't get scared, they don't lose hope, and you have to manage your expectations and the kids. Because sometimes I think I put things in front of them and say, hey, let's get stuff, we're gonna read a paragraph, we're gonna, and I was going too fast for them. Some of these kids haven't been to Bushy but some, some kids can't afford it. So I'm the only guy they've seen before, foreigner. So we had to take it very, very slow. So I suggested we start with themes, okay? We do a theme for a couple of months. Like, I love themes because we can dress up, okay? <laughs> dress up, and the kids, when they dress up, they feel more relaxed. Um, everybody looks silly, okay? And they are more, they speak more easily, and they're not scared of making mistakes. So, and also another thing I like to do is you decorate the class. Okay, that's very important. Get them in the mood, get them in the vibe, the feeling, you know, give them that fire magic, you know, Christmas, Halloween. They don't have that. So they, they're looking for some fun, yeah? They're looking for something outside of their realm. I, I told them, I said, what's similar to Halloween? I said, no. does anybody know anything similar to Halloween? What about Ghost Month? So, yeah, so Ghost Month is a happy time. You just go around, you knock on people's doors, and no, no, teacher, no, 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 no. So, Ghost Month. I said, but don't worry, Halloween is happy, okay? Candy, laughter, reading, okay. So what I did is I started with like a reading theater, okay? Using vocabulary in their textbooks, um, creating some, basically just, each one will be a character, 
and we use the vocabulary and they dress up in costume. So let me just show you here. All right, sorry, I'm here for Randall's uh, PPL. I did a word document. So. <laughs> Here we go. And that was the day, the day, the day. All right. Sorry, that's just um, us in the class. I did a game on the board. It's a very, very cool game. It's called Ghosts and Spiders. Ghosts and Spiders. Really, really easy for reviewing anything. Okay? Very easy. Yeah. Circle. Okay? You divide it like a pizza. They say, pizza. I say, no, 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 it's a web. It's a web. It's not a pizza. <laughs> so you got a cross. You got a spider. You got a bonus. Two more ghosts. Okay. It works like this. Two teams. If you land on a cross, you get an extra life. Okay? You add a life. If you land on a two, two crosses, you get two extra lives. A bonus is you can roll one more time. A spider. You die. Okay? One of yours die. Okay. If you land on a ghost, the other team's dead. Okay. So they love that. They love that. And it's quick and easy. And uh, if you're running out of time, you can add spiders, you can take them away, quick and easy, yeah. very, very easy. So we did that, this was in the beginning. So I was still establishing what my role was and how to do it. So first we did sentence patterns here, and later on we started with the reading theater. So this is still this here, okay. Then also, uh, if you do themes, sometimes your school will give you these packages. You get one for Halloween, Christmas, also for Chinese New Year, I think the, the publishers, the book publishers, they, they supply with it, use them. They're actually really, really great. These were uh, flashcards for Halloween that had a whole puzzle, like a road. It was about eight flashcards, and they have to fit these puzzles together. At the back, there's the vocabulary, and they have to figure it out. And it's, it looks easy, but it's not. And they have to build this whole road, just as a little warm-up. Um, to get them to show them kids how they go trick or treating, and it's a cartoon, a whole cartoon they build, okay, just to get them going. All right, and let me go here. Aha, here are the dress up starts. Okay, so you get a cape out. Cape's important. Uh, you need to have props. That's a very good thing to have. And this is where Amin said, when you don't have any power, Amin, you dress up. Okay, and then you. <laughs> You dress up, and you make them dress up, okay? They can be a witch, they can be a devil. They can be a uh, Shrek, I had a Shrek little hat there. And then each guy gets a turn to be a character. And we read it over and over again, later on they're so confident, they're, they're saying it by themselves, by, off by heart, already. All right, so you go there, that was the Halloween lesson. Okay, there we, here we had a discussion. That is my, uh, well, this is my boss, Mr. Xiao. And that is the jo Joanne, and Joanna from the Elon government. And we had a discussion about what I was going to do after this, uh, doing the themed reading. All right. I sometimes find that the... <laughs> find that they had the, the books that they had in the library is sometimes too high, the level is too high. The people that... I don't know who chose the books that they buy, but sometimes you get libraries that have got great stuff in here. I got to our library, we had a pack of books there, big books. Expensive stuff, man. 800 a book. Um, didn't get used, nothing. It was new, brand new. But some of the books, it was too high a level for some of the kids. Yeah. So I think, you know, for me the biggest thing is material. Finding the right material for the right grade. Yes. To keep it interesting, to keep it relevant, to make it fun for them. Okay, so I started the first one, I, I, I wrote, wrote my own material. But okay, these are these other kids playing around. Okay, here's me. <laughs> I was Shrek, the beard is Shrek. Um, yeah, they love it. It's just, yeah. Because they don't have time to do these kind of things in their own classes. They never have time for this. Alright, so yeah. Alright, and we did, we did mooncakes, we made mooncakes, the festival. And also another thing that I'm not used to is we have a lot of special needs kids in our school, because of the inclusive education system. And um, it was great, there's a different way of dealing with kids, like the first time with kids with autism, and they have minors that come with them, but you know, including them in the class, you know, making them being a part of your class, it's, it's amazing for them. It means a lot, it, even if they just sit there, you know, hold an eye, or hold a hat, or sit there with a picture, they just love being part of it. And um, here we did mooncake, sorry, that's quick. And here's our Fulbright teacher, Kevy, really nice guy. 
Some of the um, Wednesday afternoons were quite informative. Some I could have given a skip, but the kid was good with games. And he gave me a lot of tips on reading classes. All right. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is just another thing. I'll get to the video just now. Um, another thing is, one afternoon the teacher came to me and she said, okay, um, I need classes. And I, I didn't understand what she said. I said, well, okay, Wednesday start that off. Um, you can come. We'll, we'll help you with your English. Any questions? We can just sit there and have conversations. But I, I misunderstood her. Okay. She was asking me to be part of a play, <laughs> a teacher play. Okay. And I have to speak Chinese. And well, okay, my listening skills is a little better than my speaking skills. But um, in Elan, we are really, it's all about recycling, okay? It's all about reuse, reuse, recycle, um, yeah. And we did a play about that with the teachers. We actually won. We won, I think, 10,000 NT. Yeah. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. We were the only adult team, so. You know, okay. <laughs> so it was amazing, yes. And uh, yeah, this whole, uh, whole thing of... <laughs> That's a man, yes. Dressed as a woman. Yes. <laughs> There's all, all teachers, all teachers of the school. Uh, yeah, they're wonderful. They're really, really cool teachers. And it's all about this princess and uh, meeting these new uh, suitors, uh, finding a husband, and we give her gifts. And she, she says that she likes us. The one she doesn't like because it doesn't use reusable bags or this kind of thing. Yeah, so it was amazing. So we did that. <laughs> it was really crazy. <laughs> okay, for Chinese New Year. Okay. Another tip, if you guys, if you're ever teaching reading, use YouTube, okay? YouTube uh, is amazing, there's a lot of material, for free, okay, for free, good material, slow pace, if you don't find anything to read, there's a company called uh, Pink Fong, Pink, P-I-N-K, Fong, like Fong, F-O-N-G, and they have all the Christmas, car Christmas Carol, uh, Charles Dickens, they made it really simplified it. They've got all these great, great videos with subtitles and read at a very slow pace. Pink Fong, don't forget. It's a really, really good uh, resource. Uh, another one here is the story of Nian. Uh, you'll all, if you're new to Taiwan, you'll find out what Nian's all about. And then uh, I did a color, co um, I just copied it in color. I do the purple part. So for me to interact with the kids is very important, okay? You must be part of the story. You can't just say, say you read or you say. Be part of the story, act with them. And when you relax and play around and be funny, then, then they're relaxing, okay? And then they're reading with you. So they're having fun with you. You're not just a teacher, but you're part of this little scene you do. It's really nice. And then you give them easy vocabulary, like this girl is bibbidi bobbidi boop, just some funny words. Um, I love to use this kind of thing. And then just easy vocabulary. Um, what I also did is I laminated these words and I cut them up and I give two, two teams bags and I said, okay, ready, steady, go. They run to the bag, take out the words, pack all the vocabulary, build it, and see if they can spell the word. And then just a quick, okay, so my gosh, um, and just a quick uh, worksheet. Now all these things I laminated. So I make, if it's seven students, I, I laminate these, uh, make it plastic, yeah? Each kid has got a reusable, well, a marker, whiteboard marker and they fill it in on the, on the sheet, quickly. And when I'm finished, I just erase it. Good to the environment, okay? Environment friendly, yes. Okay, and this is just easy, easy for the third grade, and just and stuff like that. Okay, um, quick video here, good grief. Okay, sorry. Randall will help me. <laughs> Next time I'll be ready, my good. Okay, this is just the first one. Sorry. We got Harry, the total is Harry. Harry? Yes, Harry. I just want to get to the one. Reading. One, go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Off of candy. Watch out. Do you care to do this one? Off, off. This one is four. So we are using this one, yes? Not four. So we say off. Of candy, of candy, not four. Okay, so C, go. D. Of, of candy. I want six boxes of candy. Vampire? Everybody together say yes. Thank you, Vampire. Very good. 
All right, anyway, this is like a, it's a trick or treat scene, and every kid will get a chance to be the ghost or the vampire. And we go to the house, everybody knocks on the table, trick or treat, trick or treat, give me something good to eat, and they ask, I want one box of candy, I want two box of candy, so plurals and singular form, and yeah, that is what we did in the beginning, but I've changed this now with the reading and doing more reading theater, which I find for me is helpful. All right, good. I said, okay, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much, Teacher Hannes. That was really awesome. All right. We have.